in the last video I did, which some of you may have watched, I looked at the pluses and minuses of the round section coil compression spring in comparison to those of the spring washer or Belleville spring washer. Something that I should have really talked about in the same video was using compressed air or compressed gas in place of either the spring or the Belleville washer and why this generally doesn't take place. Uh, some of you who are uh, keen into air gunning may have thought to yourselves over the years wouldn't it be possible for me to make myself a regulator and instead of using the spring as the constant or adjustable power force within the regulator why don't I make the regulator so as I can adjust the pressure from the air stored within my diver's bottle so as I can attach a hose and gauge plug it into the bottom of my air gun and set my regulator at the pressure I wanted. This has been tried quite a number of times over the years by various people. I had a go at doing it. I think one of my first regulators was an air regulator and it was a disaster. I then spoke to a number of other people who you know, had a go at a similar thing and they'd all also encountered big problems. The problems arise because compressed air is fairly volatile in its expansion and contraction and even more so when it's under pressure and so from a cold day to a hot day the pressure within the regulator could alter quite a lot and this would obviously alter its output and how it affected your air rifle. Uh, to give a better example of this some of you who may be into gardening may have greenhouses and in the greenhouses they have telescopic struts with hinges and they're designed to open and shut your greenhouse windows at a certain temperature so as to keep the greenhouse at a regulated temperature so there you can see that the gas expands and contracts a great deal over a few degrees so to try and do a bit of a demonstration as to this with air I've got a little chamber here that's got about 4 or 5 cc, probably 6 cc of air volume inside it. Just a simple quick fill on one end and a pressure gauge on the other. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this up now to 100 bar. Oops, I've got my glove caught in it. Fill this up now to 100 bar and the temperature in here at present is, if you can see that, about 11.3 degrees so it's 11.3 at the moment and we'll fill up fill it up nice and slowly whoops and that's about it there we go right so if you look at that, now it's a little bit over 100 bar and the temperature is, now it's sat on the cold concrete, about 10.911 degrees. So let's go and see what a little bit of warmth and a little bit of cold will do to it. Here we are with the mock demonstration I've set up to show why air out of your diver's bottle or pump isn't used instead of a conventional coil spring or Belleville spring washer within your air gun regulator. So here we have the sort of dummy mock regulator that we saw a few moments ago. And now we've come into the house, the temperature's a little bit warmer, it's probably about 18 degrees, the gauge has gone up a little bit as you can see. It's more to about 100 and 506 bar, I think earlier it was about 100 and 203. So here we have some chilled water and in the other glass we have some warm water. So here we go, that's what it reads at the moment. If we put it into here, and that's about 0.6 degrees and now I'll look at the clock I'll come back in five minutes time and we'll see what the pressure's dropped to so over the past was it now six or seven minutes the temperature in the glass has risen a little bit as the ice has melted 
the temperature hopefully you can see on the uh, pressure gauge has fallen quite a bit it's down to about 97-98 bar uh, and the temperature gauge is about 0.7 so right let's change them over so we'll lift both of these up and hopefully you can see them okay pop this straight into the warm water put the that in and already you can see if you've been watching the needle has shot up considerably it's now about what, 111 bar I don't know how hot the water is I'm guessing it's probably about 40 degrees but we'll 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 have to see so let's give that a bit of a mix up and then the pressure on the gauge is now up to what about 100 and 118 the water's a bit hotter than I thought it was it's saying 47.5 at the moment 48 but hopefully this has demonstrated the large pressure fluctuation within the air held within that small chamber so that you can now hopefully see why just air out of your scuba tank and that isn't used in uh, gas filled air regulators in your PCP air rifle so hopefully this would have saved you the time of manufacturing your own doing some experiments and sadly coming away tearful after wasting a lot of time and effort so if you are going to make a gas filled regulator I think you need to go away and heavily investigate uh, highly compressive gases that don't have any uh, fluctuation in their characteristics with temperature rise and fall.